I'm Teresa, Uta Hagen's granddaughter. I'm Letty, I'm the daughter. Of Uta Hagen. Yes. Uh, once again, we're gonna do another recipe from my grandmother's cookbook. Uh, today we are going to make cheese crustades, it's called. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit because this cookbook is from 20 plus years ago and lifestyles have changed. So, Letty, okay. let's get started. All right, it says toast, little toasted cups filled with melted cheese topped with tomato and basil make my mouth water. Just thinking about it. Preheat oven to 400, 400 degrees. Done. One loaf, coarse, brick oven baked type bread sliced. This is where we're switching it up. So we're gonna make two versions. One is gonna be with bread, like a rye bread with caraway seeds, because that's what we have in the house. And the second recipe is gonna be with panko bed bread crumbs and avocado oil to bind it together. So we're gonna try these and see how it goes. So come hang out. Olive oil over the bread in the cups and bake for 10 minutes or until the edges of brown, uh, until the edges of bread start to brown. So we're gonna take our panko breadcrumbs, once again with some olive oil, and we're just gonna put them in the base. We're gonna do a couple of these and see how that goes. And then the other half of this muffin tin is going to have the rye bread with caraway seeds. So once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven that I think says to preheat it at 400 degrees. Yes. And get them, these little crusties, nice and toasty, so. So we'll be back. See you in a bit. After three quarters of coarsely grated cheese, Swiss or cheddar or both. So we did that. Uh, I used, we're, for this recipe, I switched it up again a little bit. We're using Asiago and Munster. My mom likes Munster, so we're going to incorporate those two cheeses. We've let the little pieces of breadcrumbs or uh, rye bread go into little toasties. They're in the muffin tin, and now we are going to one tablespoon tomato topping, a dab of pesto sauce. Don't we have to add the cheese first? That's almost to the top with grated cheese and cover. So sorry Asiago about that. and Monster. Why? Well, why not? This is the fun part where you get to switch up the recipes. So as we are doing this, we can tell you a little story when my grandmother entertained and she liked to entertain a lot that's why she partially wrote this cookbook so that people could have these recipes once upon a time these were huge um for the holidays like she said uh, my mom said before you could you could make them and then freeze them and then you just heat them up and it was super simple to heat them up so for christmas on her fancy little doilies that she crocheted herself um, you'd have a lovely glass of whatever she had with, um, sometimes I think with some straw, strawberry or raspberry or something in the bottom. And, uh, then you would get two of these if you were lucky. And me, I always wanted more, <laughs> but she would say, that's enough. <laughs> and that was enough. That was all you got. And then you had to wait for dinner, which always took a really long time. But during that, during that time, then we would open presents, too. Yes. But I like food. Some of it. Not all of it. So, okay, so we've added our little cheesies. And then what are we supposed to do next, Letty? Um, <laughs> a, a tablespoon tomato topping. Add a dab of pesto sauce. Optional. A few chopped basil leaves. Okay, I've, we don't have fresh basil here, so we're using dried, which I think it also says in there. And just yes. to give a little, I put in some tarragon. But I love tarragon. Don't tell Uda. Tarragon is delicious. Okay. Yes, you can use dried, that's, that's okay. So now we're gonna just do a little sprinkle of tomato sauce. And I will admit, this is from the jar. It's from Trader Joe's. Um, yeah. 
it's just a regular marinara sauce. And even color-wise, it looks pretty. It's kind of Christmassy, and that's mostly what I remember it from. So uh, some red and some green with the dried herbs. And then. So I've just about sprinkled them with tomato sauce. Now I'm just going to do a little dab of herbs. And you can mush those in so that they really absorb the flavor in the tomato sauce. You know, there's the nice thing about cooking sometimes is there's sometimes no rules. And that's, that's the fun of this. So we're going to pop these back in the oven, even though it says to put them on a cooking sheet. Uh, I'm making the decision to keep them in the muffin tin. They will be just as easy to pop out. Uh, so we've made the croissants, croissants. Croissants, uh, and now we get to taste them. So we hope you've enjoyed um, today's cooking with Uta Hagen's family, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers, bon appetit. Mmm, delicioso.